Welcome to the first of the series I'm calling Cleaning Out My Closet or Closet PC. So what we're doing here is we're taking several parts that I had sitting around on my shelf for a while, starting to gather dust. Figured let's put them together, build an awesome PC, and then uh, we'll sell it to some lucky customer for a nice discount. So first we got here uh, Asus ROG Strix Z590A. This is the previous socket that was available from Intel and the 11th gen CPU would be in here. We also have this EVGA 2060. This is, it's still a really good GPU. It's just, you know, it's getting a little bit older. There's not a lot of people that want to buy them anymore. So we're putting that in here. Kind of goes with the older gen hardware, the uh, 11th gen CPU, the older motherboard, older GPU. We've got a Mushkin Tempest one terabyte. This has not been sitting around for very long, but uh, it kind of fits really well with this build. Got 32 gigs of RAM. You might be noticing a theme here. White RAM, white motherboard, white cooler. You guys, you guys catching on here? So 32 gigs, CL16, 3600 from Mushkin. A really nice RAM, just another one of those things like, gotta want a white build to have one of these. So. And then we've got this 650 watt bronze. And we've got this uh, 650 watt 80 plus bronze PSU from EVGA. Still a pretty good PSU. Obviously it's not A plus gold. So we're using it with a little bit lower tier hardware so that you don't have to worry about that 650 watt rating. The new stuff that we had to order was got this Core i5-11600K. This is a nice kind of mid-range six core CPU. It's overclockable. It's got plenty of cooling and stuff so you'll be able to do that no problem. Still a really good gaming CPU, just, you know, a little bit older. And to keep that monster cool, We've got this Thermal Take Silver Soul 135 White. And you might be asking why I chose it. One, it's got really, really good cooling, and two, white. Great addition to this. And then got the Fractal Pop Air Snow Edition. Now we can get started. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this is one of the few builds coming out of Redneck Engineer that is not pre-sold. So this will be up for sale. We'll post about it everywhere just to let people know. It's out of here. Got a USB-C cable extender, so it's like male on one end, female on the other. That's kind of cool. A couple of short little zip ties. An Asus fan holder. And then in here, we have SATA cables. Wow, a lot of SATA cables. Four SATA cables. And our Wi-Fi slash a Bluetooth antenna. That's all we need from this box. So I used to manufacturers taping their motherboards into those anti-static bags. Oh my gosh, there's even like a tag, like a cloth tag on this heat thing. So weird. All right, well, I got all that plastic off. Put our CPU in here. Yeah, and this is a 11600K. Six core overclockable processor from Intel. Still a good CPU, not the newest and the greatest. And right now it's actually a pretty good deal. It's under well under $200 for this CPU, which is nice. Pull this guy out of here. Give the wiggle test. All right, appears to be in. Okay. Got that in there. Get our SSD in next. So this is kind of a mid-range Gen 3 SSD. I believe it'll do 2500-ish read-write speed. Not blazing fast, but it's, you know, pretty good. Especially for a system like this. You will not notice your SSD ever slowing you down. On these older motherboards like Z490, Z590, one thing to keep in mind, if you have a 10th Gen CPU, you will not on most motherboards be able to use this top slot uh, for the m.2 you will have to use one of the other slots they are not compatible with 10th gen with an 11th gen you can put it there because it shares direct pcie lanes with the cpu for some reason the 10th gen cpus are not compatible with that okay now we can put this in here tiny little screw cover off this thermal pad as well All right, got our SSD in. Since we're doing an air cooler on this, we're gonna put the air cooler on next, and then we'll put the RAM on after that. Okay, and we are gonna have to apply our own our thermal paste on there. We need this guy here, LGA 1500. We're gonna need these guys here. Like that, facing inwards like that. Get our little, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are, uh, a, like, single sort of piece of rice people, or if you're, like, crisscross, um, or you, like, a pre-smear it all over. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go with just nice grain of rice. 
right in the middle. It's not a very hot CPU, shouldn't need much. And we're definitely gonna test before we ship it anywhere, so don't have to worry about that not working. Now this far into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're working on putting up regular content here on YouTube as well as Facebook. So make sure you like, subscribe, follow, you know, all those good things so that uh, we can keep growing. Also, if you're interested in this computer, send me a DM. It is for sale. All right, got both of these started, looks like. Get them nice and tightened down. Quite a bit of distance in this. We got a lot of space, a lot of length on this thing. We need to figure out what the best path is. There's not a ton of spare table there. I think that's gonna be the way forward, just like that. All right, so I guess, unlike most of them, I actually need to thread this through the back holes on the fan. Here we go. I think we're good there. Fan installed. There's a, it only comes with one fan on this model. And then lastly, let's get the RAM, and then we can uh, start working on the case. This is 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is kind of a lot for a mid-tier, older uh, gaming rig, but, you know, what we had. All right. This is all ready to go. We are ready to get our case out here and start putting stuff in it. So this is the Fractal Pop Air. They make the Pop Air, the Pop Air Excel. I think they might even make a Pop Air Mini. The reason I went for it, it's a really good price right now. It's only a little over $100. And the all white just looks really good. And Fractal just does a really good job in general with their cases. So I've been using a Fractal Meshify 2 for a very long time. Good faith in their product they make good stuff really nice part about this build being air cooled and having you know three fans already built into the case is i don't really have to mess around with fan configurations or anything like that i just put it all in here and we're off to the races before we do that pull these parts it's gonna be hard to tie down our motherboard if we don't have these out lay these down yeah feels good not coming out didn't feel like it was binding on the way down we are good to go let's get this guy in here went in nice all those holes all lined up all right i'm just getting these all started then i'll come back through and tighten them all down all the way all right so that's uh motherboards all in They're shaping up to be a nice little build here Our front panel audio coming down here to the left hand side so it looks like our we don't have any system fan headers on top. We could use like AIO pump or something, um, but I want to leave those open uh, just in case someone later decides they want to put in an AIO instead of an air cooler. So we will route these down to the bottom. I'm right into this system fan header right here. Same on this back fan. We're gonna have to find a home for this guy here. A little short though. Go just about anywhere. Now, I think we're gonna have to put this one to the AIO pump. So I plugged that one in to the CPU optional header there. We'll tie that down so it just kind of gets out of the way. That's all of the connectors that come with the case. So we can move on to power connectors. We might have to install this power supply first and get everything connected. Ah, semi modular. Okay. Hey, and it comes with some cable ties. That's nice. CPU, PCIe, and motherboard all built in. Don't have any SATA power required, and I believe GPU is a single PCIe connector. So let's verify that real quick, and then we'll get this power supply installed. I can't imagine a 2060 needing more than a single connector, but maybe it needs an 8 and a 6 or something. Alright, so it does just require a single connector. So we're good there. Okay. Alright. CPU power installed. This is a 12 gigabyte 2060. This is the, uh, the later version. Probably pull a couple of these off. We want to put the GPU in, huh? Get it all nice and lined up. Here it goes. That GPU is now properly supported. 
plugged in. Cable management time. Not a whole lot of cable management required on this build, thankfully. That cable tie there. Pull this in. If it's your first time building, or you haven't built in, you know, a decade or two, and you're worried about the difficulty of building, you know, you might consider going with a tower air cooler, because, I mean, it honestly looks pretty cool, and as you can see, it makes the whole build much, much faster. Let's turn it on, shall we? All right. Let's see how it looks. Not a ton of RGB in this build, just the RAM and the uh, motherboard, but uh, all in all, I think it's a pretty cool whiteout build, and hope you guys enjoyed watching it. See you guys next time.